So tonight I wanted to share a the latest book I'm reading. Well, I'm, I'm actually reading four or five books um, <clears throat> at the moment. Some on Audi Audible, some on Kindle uh, and a paperback. Um, anyway, so the new one on Audible, now I'm back on, on the road. Um, I love Audible in the car because it's a great way of getting self-development while you're driving around the country. Anyway, so I'm reading, it's called The Gene Keys, Gene as in genes, G-E-N-E, -E. and it was recommended by, I think it was recommended when I was at a Momentum Day. Um, but anyway, it's, it's, um, it's a long book. It also, it's supposed to work alongside, there's a, a website um, and you get a free profile. I printed mine off. I don't understand it at all at the moment. It is very weird. Um, but you've got things on here like life's work, radiance, purpose, evolution. And you put in your date of birth and the time that you were born. And um, it generates this personalised profile, which I now need to do some research on the website to, to start to understand it. Uh, so I've started listening to it today and it reminds me a lot of the Joe Dispenza teachings. Some of you that have seen previous videos now talk talk a lot about Joe, love Joe. Um, and it's, it's a different way, it's a different way of explaining it, it's a different way. Basically, I'm just going to use something on my computer to try and explain it. So, the book begins by introducing the reader to a fantastic possibility. Humanity may be on the verge of a major shift in consciousness rooted in a new understanding of how our DNA operates. Namely, that it is programmed directly by the way we think and feel, which is something that Joe talks about. Um, it, talk, it, it You know, Abraham Hicks, it, anybody in that kind of field is talking about our thoughts create our rea reality. Um, and how we feel definitely um, affects our bodies in terms of producing symptoms, illnesses, you know, when we're stressed and all the rest of it. I've known that for, for years and years and years. This is a highly ambitious and sophisticated system for shaping one's destiny. So basically this book is, is to enable you to be able to shape your destiny. It's based around 64 archetypes. It resembles the I Ching in its vast scope and profound importance and in the resonant character of its symbolism. No, I don't really understand that either. The author shows how there are two ways to approach the gene keys. You've got the holistic way and you've got the detailed way. And it's the combining of both of these that results in contemplation. The primary pathway, which is the primary pathway into the gene keys. Our beliefs shape our genes. When we change our beliefs, we change the chemistry of our body. That much I do know. The gene keys are an inner language whose central purpose is to transform our core beliefs about ourselves, thus raising our lives onto a new level of awareness. And yeah, as I said, this book works alongside um, online profiling software, which, which they want to, I think, you get a free profile, but then if you wanted to expand on that, I think you've got to pay for it. As I say, I've only started listening to it today. Um, the software provides instantaneous free profiles, known as hologenetic profiles, and they that uses what I said, um, your time, date and place of birth, and it generates a unique sequence of gene keys that relate to many aspects of your life, including underlying genetic patterns governing your relationships, your finances, your health and your life purpose. So the 64 gene keys um, that you need to contemplate over time and apply the insights into your own life from these keys. And then if you do that, your belief systems will begin to change and then our DNA will actually start to transform the way we think and feel. So that is the philosophy, hopefully you understood that, of the book. As I say, I've only just started re uh, listening to it today. I'm pretty sure it's about 14 hours long. Um, 
I bought it ages ago and I started to listen to it and then it talks about needing to go to the website which stopped me, no, it was 35 hours long. <laughs> so it's a long one. Um, and um, well, just as well, I'm going to be in the car a lot over the next few weeks, probably, uh, with this new role I've got at the current company. So um, I've got plenty of time in the car. And as my patch is three hours away, I've definitely got plenty of time. So looking forward to trying to understand a bit more about it. But yeah, it came as it came highly, highly recommended. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it's the Gene Keys and the author is Richard Rudd. Um, and that's it. And I'll just leave you with a note. Um, the job role that I turned down, I decided to um, reach out to them again on Sunday just to say, look, I've been, I've been getting reminded that I didn't want to change my job for the money. I wanted to change my job because of the environment. How do you feel about meeting me here on the basic? And by the way, we also talked about this and that wasn't included in your offer, blah, blah, blah. Um, and he's replied today to say, can you leave it with me for a few days? So it's not a no. It's being considered. I presume he's going to be talking to somebody else about it. So, yeah, I will leave it there and I shall see you on the next one. See you later.